Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In this video, we are going to talk all about Chanel 19 bag. So if you're interested, please keep watching. The Chanel 19 handbag was introduced to the market in March 2019 and hence the name Chanel 19. It was the final collection from Karl Lagerfeld before his ultimate departure. It gained on popularity really very, very quickly and it was carried by many celebrities as well as a lot of fashion bloggers. It's got a very unusual look. It is inspired by the old uh, classic Chanel handbag, as you can see from the background. However, it's got more modern and edgy look. And therefore, I think it really spoke to different variety of ages. As soon as it was introduced on the market, uh, I fall in love with this handbag and I really wanted to get one. For me, it was just a matter of color, which one I will pick. And at the end, I decided to go for this beautiful sort of blue purplish color that I haven't had in my collection. Now, this is the small size. I really love the handbag. I purchased this, I think it was like closer to the end of 2019 when this color came out. And yeah, love the handbag. I'm gonna to divide this video into like four blocks. First, we are gonna to talk the overall design. Then we will be talking about what fits in a handbag. Thirdly, we're gonna to compare the pros and cons of the handbag. And fourthly, and lastly, I am going to tell you my opinion if the handbag actually is worth the hefty price tag. Firstly, the design. As I said, it was inspired by the classic. So if you take the classic next to it, you see that this is the small size. It has sort of the same design, the flap, the clasp, uh, obviously different chain, but the quilting all derive actually from this handbag. Chanel 19 does come in three different sizes. I have compiled for you the spreadsheet that you can see all three handbag sizes as well, body on chain and clutch with chain that belongs to accessories, but still it can be used as a handbag. So I included it in my spreadsheet. I'm comparing the sizes in centimeters, inches for you American views, because most of my views are in US. I included Australian dollars, American dollars, and because I should a lot in Europe, I included euros as well. And for you, I have also included the price of the classic handbag in a medium size, which is very similar to the small Chanel 19 bag, as you can see from the size comparison. It's called exaggerated quilting. The quilts are eight centimeter by eight centimeters, and uh, therefore the sort of slouchy look. It's got the CC logo, which is uh, bigger than the classic. Some people say that it's tacky. I think it does suit a handbag. I don't find it tacky uh, for this sort of style of the handbag. It does have a chain. It does not move, it's static. And the chain has three colorway hardware. So it's got gold, silver, and ruthenium, which is great. The chain measures 110 centimeters and the drop from here to here is 55 centimeters. It is measured for this small handbag. It's got a top handle, it's got pocket at the back that closes with a magnetic closure and inside as you can see it's one compartment that is lined with a material and the back it's got one zipper pocket and that's about it. That's the handbag. It does come in different materials and a different colorway. So you can really choose from a variety of different styles. It actually went from this structurally Chanel typical style of the handbag uh, to this slouchy look, which I think attracted so many people. This bag became so stored after a handbag. Also the fact that it was the last collection from Karl Lagerfeld again on its popularity as well. Now let's talk about what fits in a handbag. I usually use for my handbags by the insert 
so it doesn't get dirty for this end bag I opted for this sort of color it's not because I love pink but they didn't have matchy matchy blue color so I thought the contrast would be really nice and I quite like it also, if you do not want the handbag to slouch over time, the insert is really great. I've got the house keys. Now I've got the card holder from Hermes. Now, obviously the Bastia from Hermes, which I carry my medication in. Um, hand cream that I always carry with me. Then a chewing gums and these are the airpods and guys i usually don't carry any makeup bag so i just fill up these handbags with uh, different things and i just slide it for you to see how much fits actually in so the bag would look as so and then i can slide like place on top the sunglasses nothing happens to it you can close the handbag without issues and i always slide my iphone at the back now the pocket is big enough so i've got iphone 12 pro max but really it fits any iphone so it's easily accessible that's how the handbag looks full i would never wear it this full but you know there is the option i think this doesn't look slouchy anymore doesn't look that uh, i don't know puffy i would say that's how it would be and it's getting heavier so i wouldn't really carry this much stuff however that's what fits in a handbag now let's talk about the pros and cons we'll start on a positive note with pros uh, first of all, I will talk about the design. The design is something different for Chanel, so it's unusual. That's why I think it became so popular because of the look. We live in a years of COVID time where people start wearing track pants very casual. You know, when you look the style currently in fashion, it's everything is slouchy, it's oversized, so everything is more casual more comfortable i would say and therefore i think this slouchy look really fits the current fashion trends that's why i think the design is right on a point i think uh, because it went from the classic uh, that some people call old and boring i'm not one of them i think it went to very funky modern edgy look i think because of the design it approached and talked to many people and variety of ages the back pocket really great for easy access uh, i mean these days everyone's got an iphone you don't need to open the flap and close it you just need to slide it in the back pocket and it's always accessible so that's great now i will talk about versatility the handbag is really great from that point of view you can carry it in a hand, on crook of your arms, crossbody, also on the shoulder. So really, I think every single person, whatever you like, you can achieve it with this handbag. Now, also from the versatility, I would talk about practicality. It is a very practical bag. It can carry, as I said, essentials and much more as you could have seen you can carry it from morning till evening i've seen some people even using it for night time i'm not one of them but i would still rock it for like dinner but definitely would not carry it to the bar you know if i go with someone for a drink but i saw it i loved it you know again it comes back to your personality so the variety the practicality of the bag is enormous the hardware as i told you the <laughs> strap is silver gold and ruthenium now if you are picky like me and like to mix gold with gold silver with silver i think this is great because you are not going to be worried if you wear silver and you've got all three hardwares here so everything will match doesn't matter what like hardware you have on your shoes on your jewelry or whatever i think from that point of view it's really great i mean i always use gold i've got a couple jewelry pieces that are white gold but it doesn't suit to my skin tone so 
never worn it. My first actually handbag that I ever purchased with silver hardware, I think this was at the back. It's the Chanel Boy, only because of the colors. I really loved it. So it's silver hardware. And from that time, I try to relax when I wear my jewelry in gold and have a silver strap. But, you know, sometimes I do want to be picky and I like gold, gold, silver, silver. So from that point of view, I think for a lot of people, it's great because you don't have to think if you like silver, gold or ruthenium, you've got all three in one. Also, uh, pro, I would include that the chain is actually very statementy on this bag. So it is like a jewelry to the handbag and you don't need too many accessories to make your point. I think the handbag stood on its own. Chanel came and make this handbag in so many materials. So it spoke to a lot of people, whoever you are, wherever you are, uh, if you like lamb skin, goat skin, calf skin, you know, it came in cotton, like denim, velvet, sequin, I mean, you name it. The only material I've never seen it is the grain calf skin, which I love, <laughs> caviar. And I think the reason why is because with caviar you would never achieve this slouchy look. So I don't think it will ever come in caviar. Otherwise it would lose all its point of being slouchy and edgy and all the stuff. I, I'm having this back one and a half year, it looks brand new. Like there are no scratches. Uh, the corners are perfect. Look at that. Like it looks like brand new. We will get to cons. And yes, uh, having this handbag for one and a half year, I can talk about the cons that, first of all, I have experienced or I think of. First of them, and the biggest one that most people worry, especially my shorter friends, is the strap. Now, again, it comes back to personality and your style. I'm 172, so I will show you some mod shirts, uh, how it looks, but Obviously, if you're taller, shorter, you may have a problem with the strap, unless you like it, but it hits your hip. I like this handbag crossbody on me. I do not wear the handbag crossbody. It's only because I've got a back issue. So for me, no point, but I still like the option to have it in the case I need it. I would be able to wear it for a short period of time. The length of the strap, you can't adjust. So you have to think about it and you have to really try the handbag if it's good for you. Secondly, with the strap, it comes to this leather material that it's on the strap, which should be for comfort, right? Uh, carrying this handbag on a shoulder. Now, it is okay if I carry it on a shoulder. If you crossbody this handbag, it's still gray if you want to wear it sort of this way. So just cross exactly and have the handbag on your hip. However, as soon as you move the handbag at the front or at the back, doesn't matter, either way, the strap will move as well and the leather piece as well. So you are losing the whole function of the leather part of the strap. I think that at the end, the design was not thought through properly. But if you look at the boy bag, let's say, because the strap reminds me of a boy bag strap, which is look the same, except obviously the Chanel 19 has a leather through which reminds me of the classic handbag, right? But the change are very similar to boy bag. However, look at the boy bag. You can move the strap, which annoys some people. It doesn't annoy me. Um, this one was adjusted. As you can see, it was moved from this hole to this hole. <laughs> Huge lovely manager of Chanel done it a while ago for me. And I love it because this is the length that I can cross by the handbag and it's still okay. The leather bit that I call it, it's really nearly double the size. So obviously even if you move it, it's still comfortable and it doesn't leave any dents on your skin. You know, like in summer, if you want to wear the handbag, you are not uh, wearing jumpers or anything heavy and thick. So if you have just a chain I really do not like, when the chain like digs in your skin and leaves the marks. I don't think it's a nice look. So I'm trying to avoid it. If you try to avoid it, you really need the leather beads, but 
obviously with this handbag again it comes down how you want to wear it so for some people it's not a con i'm just trying to explain cons that are possible i would include the design sort of in the negative as well why because it's got one compartment some people do like the divided compartment so they can find the stuff with this handbag though i would say that the one compartment is sufficient for me because i find that when you open this handbag even without the insert you sort of find your things they are not the messy it's not like let's say but the guy have an entire pouch that when you carry the things move and they are all over the place and you can't find them with this handbag it's a bit different because um, i don't know because it's so compact i i can imagine the bigger sizes uh, you will be losing your stuff so for bigger sizes i would definitely get the middle compartment or something or divider uh, or something so you are not losing your things but again easily fix with the insert i would also include the negative the material i'm sure i will disagree with some people lamb skin like i am always worried about lamb skin and you know me i love scarf skin 90 percent of my chanel collection is in caviar it's so careless so easy so easy i don't need to worry about it and yeah because it is expensive bag i do not want to worry about the bag so caviar leather is definitely number one for me however the style won my heart and i fall in love with the handbag and as i've told you before sometimes you have to buy stuff that you love uh, otherwise you are not going to use it lamb skin uh, and all materials that it comes in i mean the car skin is not bad but it is all material that is come in you have to take care obviously some are worse some are better but you need to be mindful of the leather that you buy the handbag in the same light colors you can have a color transfer especially if you carry this handbag crossbody or on your shoulder and it wraps on your cloth that you are wearing you have to be just aware and then choose the color accordingly how you want to wear the handbag the next con i would include the base the base doesn't have a feet again you have to be careful where you place the handbag comes down again to material but the feet would definitely help the handbag on the other hand it is slouchy look it should have this carefree casual look i feel always that the legs should be always on a structured handbag so yeah again if the legs would be there middle without the insert i'm talking it would definitely like slouch down so it would hit the bottom as well so yeah i don't think it belongs to this structure of the handbag but you know again a point to consider for people who do want their feet you know there are some of them now the lining the lining is material so from fabric i haven't seen any other if yes please leave them in comments below because i would like to know but i can imagine it can be a leather because again it will be structured the bag would become so heavy so it is a fabric um, again you have to be just aware of it so any spills whatever you may have um, I am covering myself with the insert again easy to maintain right fabric is much harder to take care obviously than leather the next point is the top handle now some people may not like that it is chain so again because if you want to carry it as so and the bag is full it does leave sort of marks on your skin look after a short period of time so that's what it is you have to be just aware of it also some people are very picky they don't like this sort of look that it hangs always different way and it's not perfectly symmetric i don't mind i think it belongs to the design sometimes when you carry it on a shoulder or crossbody you know it can just fold the back so you have to adjust it if you want this look but you know what it's, it doesn't bother me at all i'm just telling you that that's another point to consider another con that i would just say storing the handbag so if you do not want this pronounced slouchy look because with the time i think it will slouch more i would say definitely buy the insert now because the chain is quite heavy but it's okay i always store it inside now 
with this top handle so it doesn't uh, leave any dents in the leather I always have the felt that you know Chanel sells the back in and I just slide it through so the chain doesn't touch the leather and that's how I protect the leather from like a damage and you can see that there is nothing like I don't see any dents I don't see any marks whatsoever and as I said the bag looks like brand new now is the handbag worth the price and the hype my conclusion is I think it is it's not only because I love Chanel handbags but if you even compare the prices of the Chanel Classic and Chanel 19, you see the price differences. I will show you again, so you don't need to go back. Considering other prices of Chanel handbag, I would say the bag is still worth it. Uh, again, it comes down to your personal style. You may not like this slouchy look if you are very, very elegant. I would say go for the Classic Chanel. If you are on a trend, if you like the edgy look, definitely Chanel 19 is your bag to consider. And yeah, I don't think it's just the price. I think it's also the refreshing look. Uh, we are moving from the classic look. I, I love my classic handbags and I will not get rid of them because um, I'm a true Chanel lover and I think uh, through Chanel level, at least one Chanel classic handbag should have. However, it's everyone's personality. Depends um, what's your lifestyle, depends what you like. So the final verdict from my point of view is definitely yes to Chanel 19. Will I ever buy like more different colors? Because when you compare my collection from some channels, I have more than just one handbag. Look, at this stage of my life, definitely not. The reason why, and again, gets back to my lifestyle. Since I'm not working, I do not tend to carry big bags. So for me, this is already like a bigger style. And yeah, I don't reach for it. Um, now we have lockdown again and, you know, uh, until the COVID passes and I decide to go back to work, I may reach for another color. At the moment, I would not consider buying different color, even so I love them. Uh, they are beautiful. I am happy I purchased this at the time I purchased it because obviously it was cheaper. But if you are on a hunt for one, definitely hurry up because as you know, the prices are going up every year and yeah as soon as you get it as cheaper the handbag will be so guys that was it from today's video i hope you enjoyed it if yes please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would love you to join my youtube family thank you so much for watching and i really hope to catch up with you in my next video have a lovely day and take care ciao